One of the biggest concerns big AI players like NVIDIA have to contend with is increased energy use. I had a chance to sit down with Dion Harris. He's NVIDIA's head of data center product marketing, as well as our very own Inez Ferre joining me for the conversation. We discussed energy demand for data centers and how the new Blackwell chip could lead to more energy efficiency for customers. Take a listen. Blackwell um, was purpose built from the ground up to really make sure it could deliver the most performance and efficiency. And so when I say from the ground up, of course we started with an incredible processor and that's the Blackwell processor. We also coupled that with our Grace CPU and that's actually two times more energy efficient than the standard x86 CPU. And then of course we also looked at how do they communicate to each other. So we have a proprietary communication a protocol called NVLink, which allows GPUs to connect to each other at very high speeds and that eliminates a lot of the bottlenecks and therefore drives more efficiency. So when you look at the full system, 72 Grace Blackwell um, chips, processors connected over this NVLink fabric, it provides you know, incredible performance that's actually 25 times more energy efficient than our previous gen, which is a hopper-based system. So when you think about you know, where the state of the art is today, most of the models are trained on hopper and sort of our, our, our cutting edge platform that's available today. Blackwell is gonna truly advance the state of the art in terms of performance and efficiency by over 25x. So you have that efficiency when it comes to technology, but talk to us about the, on the uh, demand for electricity side, for, yeah. for energy. I mean, these are more efficient. However, because they're more efficient, you're gonna be using it so much more. So you yes. still will need a lot more energy to run. So there, there's kind of two different views of that. So when you think about the, the discussion of energy, it really becomes a short term versus long term. In the short term, most of our customers, you know, you can't just go and build out a data center tomorrow or even in the next year time frame. So most of them are really trying to get the most out of their existing power envelopes. So Blackwell is going to be a huge uplift in terms of the productivity they can get out of their existing power assets. In terms of the long term, I think that's really where we're working very closely with grids, with data center build outs, um, with other partners and providers to make sure that the data center as a whole is as efficient as possible. So that as you begin to, as you begin to ramp and build out these next gen data centers, the grid's prepared as well as the infrastructure's prepared. And when speaking about the grid, the electrical grid, you're gonna, there, there's so much that is being um, invested in upgrading these grids. How do you see AI playing a role in the upgrading of the grids. Will there be a role for AI to play to make grids more efficient? Absolutely. AI is gonna be critical to enabling sort of the next wave of infrastructure. We talk about the grids as one sort of key use case, but it'll also play out in manufacturing and aeronautics and a number of heavy industries. But for the grid in particular, we're working with a number of partners. So in one case, we're working with a company called Utilidata. And they build smart meters and smart edge devices within the grid itself. And so if you kind of abstract what the grid is, it's really a bunch of components. It's transformers, it's substations, it's, it's transmission lines, it's all of these interconnected endpoints that create this electrical system. And so what we're doing with Utilidata, we're actually embedding um, some of our processors in their, their smart meter uh, ecosystem, and that allows for us to use AI to create a much more smarter and intelligent grid. And so what does that enable? So when you think about managing the load across all the disparate systems, um, most utility providers have to be very conservative in terms of how they're modeling the utilization to make sure that they don't get any hotspots. But by having that two-way communication, it allows you to have much more information to then optimize the utilization across the grid. And that's another key thing that a lot of um, data center providers are looking to do. They're looking to bring more load, in fact, more renewable energy to the grid. So by optimizing the utilization, giving more data, more insights, it'll allow utility providers to have more certainty when they're able to bring on new workloads, especially renewable workloads. And our thanks to Dion Harris, NVIDIA's head of data center product marketing, and also Nez Ferre for bringing us that conversation.